Look at him, absolute hero. Good morning everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. I've literally just made a decision now, I mentioned it to Dad, and he was like, yeah, why don't we crack on? I have a cow stood on 94. Why is she stood there? Number 44 is asleep. There's another cow asleep as well, they love it. So we're tanking. It's definitely something we have done before. We've got one more load doing the 10 acre. How many loads have you done, Luke? Three. three loads, I did 14, and this is going to be 15, and 18 loads in about three and a half hours, which isn't too bad. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, so, we're doing something that we have never done before, and it's not tanking slurry. Making big bail in end of October, which is crazy and mad. But right, I'll get this slurry out first, and then we'll get the mower on, I'll show you what we're mowing. Crazy men. That is the 10 acre finished, fortunately. This is all the seagulls that are normally on Blackpool front. Only slight issue with tanking this time of year. The gateways get wet. I'll show you what we're doing. So, because we brought cows in on the 30th of September, I did say 31st September on that video. I'm just an idiot. We're gonna graze the heifers here, and you'll see when the drone goes up, there's an electric fence that we put out there where the cows are going past because we couldn't get through there because of all the developments and stuff. But cows haven't grazed this here for a long time, a very good amount of time. And like, look at the grass. Like, we didn't even mow this third cut really, we did at the places, but some of it, we didn't. So, my plan, there's this field, there's that field, I think, I wanna say there's probably around six or seven acres of grass just here, and normally we'd give it to the sheep and just let the sheep have it. The problem is, forage is tight this year, so if I can make a few big bales off seven or eight acres, which I think there'll be around seven or eight acres in bits. I'm not gonna go really tight. I'm gonna try and stay away from the edges. It's like this bit here, there's no grass there. I'm not gonna mow them. Where Dad's new, put his new stuff down. It's soft because we only just put it down. I'm not gonna go near there. And the grass is like this big, no point. But you know, everywhere around here, it's good. Might find some wet spot, sweat spots, but that's the excitement of it all in it. Right, get this tanker off. Let's get the mower back on. I love how easy that was to take off. The other thing I'm gonna do as well, because when you're tanking, you kind of drive it a bit quick and you're having the best time of your life. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a swill off with a parlor hose, make it a bit neater and tidy, I think. She looks a little bit better. Now we're gonna go find, I don't think this would fit in our back shed. Too tall. I'm gonna go around, uh, no, I'm not gonna, I was gonna go around that way. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go around and find the mower. I'll explain why it's quite crazy. In October, I don't know, it's cold, it's horrible, it's miserable, but to put the mower on, that is crazy mad. I do have manholes in here, which you'll be all excited at. One is there, marked quite well, and one is there. It's good to know. Like, look at the grass here. It breaks my mower, it's a stupid idea. If it doesn't, it's a great idea. Just really annoying. I cleaned the mower last time I used it. So annoying. The struggle is real. Three, two, one. That top link looks very short. But she's on, that's the main thing. There's a bit more random things around here. So I'm gonna do the field, but there's less random things. My dad is definitely short on this top link. So put it into context as well. A, we've never mown this layout. And B, we've never mown these fields before. That's how much of an absolute reckless man I am. Can you see how much grass there is? I'm just driving to the better spot. Look at it. Loads, loads of grass. So we're gonna mow it. I'm gonna make some boats. So I've got boats. I'm gonna lengthen that top link before I do anything else though. She moves like lightning, and she counts to three. Then she turns out all the lights and says she's coming for me. Now put your hands up, this is a heist. And there's no one in here living gonna make it out alive Load it up when the sun comes down Get away car for two young lovers Me and the girl straight out of town Over the hills and undercover, undercover, undercover She said green, green grass, blue, blue sky This is a good time to have a look what we're doing. Bit of a 
think there, handbrake on. So, load off that side quite nicely. Um, you see what I missed and I actually went through Dad's bit of new grass, but don't tell him, he's gonna be fuming at me. This grass is lovely, it's probably some of the nicest grass I've ever apart from the chickweed I'm about to stop at. Chickweed's not good, I need to move that out of the way as well. But if you see, we grab it out, so we grab it at the store. How many leaves we got? It's a very important question, everyone asks. Uh, we've got three leaves, so that's good. So you see, one there, two, three, there's three, just trust me. There's three leaves there, which is great. After three leaves, it goes to head. This problem stuff would probably have not gone to head, in my opinion. <laughs> it was great five weeks ago. Like I say, we were putting an electric fence around, but it was doing nothing. It was gonna become nothing. And with, I think we'd have enough, but why waste it? Why waste it is the big question. I've said this before, we've been in a spot where we were short of grass, as in forage in the clamp, and we were looking for it everywhere. It's not a nice place to be. So if you've got plenty, it's always a nicer place. Going round this up a bit, I've missed round the trailer we've got there that's holding one of the panels in. It still needs concrete that bit in. I know what it's doing. I knew when the lads left, it'd be hard to get them back. They're so busy at the other spot. So I've gone round the trailer. Probably should have moved the trailer and I would have got that little bit more grass. But this is bonus grass anyway. It wouldn't even be like quarter a fifth of a bale around it. So I'm not going to try and rob it. Now, yeah, you know what happened. I'd move that, I wouldn't see something, and I'd hit something underneath. So that's why I'm not going for it. I know I'm making excuses, but that's what it is. Right, I'll get this finished. We'll have a look at it. Don't think we're going to tear it out because it's got a bit of muck. Row it up, bail it up in two days. So we dry tomorrow, which is going to be Tuesday, dry Wednesday. It's going to rain Thursday morning, so we're going to leave it first till uh, Wednesday afternoon, probably. And look, it, I don't know if you can see, but it's blowing, which is amazing. It really blows. Uh, it's amazing, so it means it's blowing dry. Great. See you when it's done. Dirty underneath, that's the only thing. I've tried to lift the mower. But you'll always find that because it, it's just with the reins like yeah. that. Well, I've never mown it before in my no, life. No, 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 I've never mown it. I've never mown it in my life either. <laughs> but it's the best thing for it. Yeah. And there's a bit honest. of grass underneath, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, we've, we've been further for less. Yeah, absolutely. There'll be a few bales on here. So I don't thought. think it's worth tedding out. I don't think so. We leave it in a row, leave it as low as possible, and maybe. Wednesday at the latest. Think of that because when I'm driving over, because yeah. it's soft, you're yeah. driving on the grass. And you're running it. You're getting rid of it, really. And it's funny though. So the seagulls were following me around when yeah. I was spreading slurry. Yeah. And now they've come here to look for anything under the grass. Yeah, so. under the grass for worms. This way, considering it's had nothing on it for two months, really, as in fertilizer eating. Yeah. He's had the cattle on that time a month ago when you yeah. shut them off. But, you know, we've still got work to do here. And we can't afford for them to come on. No. I was saying before, it's just grass that's going to go to waste. We're not going to use it. Sheep won't really graze around no. it because the other thing as well, we, we don't fence that off. So we don't let anything come to here. So we might as well make it yeah. a bit of a crop off. Yeah. Absolutely. It'll, be, it'll do nothing but good. I mean, at the end of the day, it'll be belly filled for something. And some bales. Uh, the forage could be tight. Forage will be tight. You see that silo's going back quick. Yeah, no. And so. we haven't even looked at getting a lot of stock in yet. We've only got milk cows in. So you've finished slewing on there, have you? Done. Yeah. So they shut off still, are they? Right, I'm going to carry on more. Yeah. So you see this uh, rolling up machine, it's just a twin, a dual roller up. It is a little bit wet and moist. Half 11 now, so the sunshine's good. It's going to be wet inside, look at that. It's not going to be the best bales in the world, but there'll be some belly full. The grass is at good quality for the time of year. I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. Well. I can't not be, can I? It's just a Brucey bonus. Beautiful day. Just a shame how wet it is. It'd be nice if it just had another dry day tomorrow. But you know, every dry day in October, you're quite happy. It's going to be wet in the middle. A little bit annoying. Like I say, what more can you do? That side's already done. The sun's on it. What more can I ask for? For someone who decided to go mowing at two o'clock yesterday. I mowed it, I rolled it up. The baler's not coming till two o'clock. He's booked somewhere else. And then it's coming to us after that. So it could be us about four o'clock. Get it bailed, get it done. And uh, not bad. 25 hours from standing up to in a big bale. I'm gonna move some heavy. Someone drove on Dad's new seeds the other day, just off the track. It's a little bit spongy, you would say. Tommy Rigby has just arrived. It's just before four o'clock, so it's currently about 
well, 24 hours since I put the mower on and he is bailing away. Interesting, you've all seen how tall it is out here. How many bales do you reckon we'll get on all this? This is a bonus bale. How much reckon we're gonna have on? We've got Tom in a John Deere 6170R. Mad for his R series. So it's just a baler, it's not a baler and wrapper. You'll see it's a little bit green and it's a little bit wet. It's not the end of the world. Again, the bonus bales, these could be worth a fortune the back end of winter. They are damp though. There's a lot of moisture in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy! Look at him, absolute hero. You all right, you both? Good. A bit small to mow this. Started early enough, it has done it. Wrapper's here now. Oh, is it? Everything's oh, good. Do. Everything's good. There's uh, more here than you think, you know. <laughs> the bells are fleshy, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're, they're damp. There's going to be a lot of moisture in them. Yeah. They're not going to be the best things in the world. However... In the middle of summer next year, when it's got dry, they might be nice and juicy. Yeah. Look at that, middle of summer. Yeah. I was thinking back end of winter, we might be struggling. Oh, you never know. You see your cows, when you've a very short of moisture, or the young stock, you could just do with a bit of nice juicy, like having a, <laughs> like having a fresh peach or a pear on a summer's day. <laughs> How many do you reckon? 40. 40 bales, that way you're going. 40, 40. I've asked I've asked the YouTube nurse. Every run there's a bale. Best thing for this field. It'll clean I it thought up. so. It's best thing, wasn't it? Best thing for the field. So literally me and dad were just chatting. We had the Hurleman people chatting about the tractor. That's another conversation. And we just walked out. I just said there's loads of grass in here. What we're gonna do with it? Has missed in point there. Look at that. But then it's got low there, so it's just the way it does. Oh, it's the real. It's an old pasture. And like dad has never mowed this before. I've never well. mowed this before. I've topped him many a time. It'll do nothing but good. There's bits of grass, but the sheep or the cows could come and pick them most of it off. Put the electric fence up there. But next week when we finish the track off and done the road work. They could come on, we can fence that off, we can do, yeah. Got another bale already. Got another bale, I told you. Yeah. We're going with 40. I, I actually, in my head, was thinking 36. 36? But that's a bit bigger, that. That's a bigger field, but there's more crop on this side, yeah. whichever yeah. is, I don't know why. Oh, we drive on that side more, don't yeah, we? Yeah, it just shows you where the odd track where people drive, how it knocks the grass back, doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. it? 100%. Look at our grass seeds that we threw in. I know, I was saying someone drew through. So. Yeah. And they always do, don't they? Think nothing of it, but they don't realise that's what ruins young grass seeds. And someone drew through up there as well. Yeah, that was me. Just kind of mow. Look at that. That's two bales in one run there. Right, let these guys right. bail up. And I'll, row up. And I'll take this monster of a machine back. <whistles> 80 time. pound it cost me 15 years ago. <laughs> beast. Beast. It's a beast. It's hey, done many a mile, but not gone far. <laughs> Killed it, got Tom bailing away, laughing at that. When the sun comes down, get away, clap for two of your lovers. Me and the girl straight out of town, over the hills and undercover, undercover, undercover. She said, Green, 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 sky. And that is how you wrap a bale. Ready for the rain tomorrow? Yeah, well, I'm going to do it again. Wet off. Bye. 
45, not a bad guess. I guess 36, dad guess 40. 45 bonus bales is not bad at all. Uh, just got the push up. A little bit of leftover grass. Slurry it tomorrow. Slurry that field, we move them heifers. Today we've had a really good day actually. Our job's done. We moved a lot of heifers. We've put six with Nigel. We've put five bullying heifers back and we brought the one that jumped the fence that isn't ours. We brought that back as well. And obviously, we've had this baled. I was just saying to Luke, for people who didn't want to make big bales this year, Technically, we've made 250, but you are right. We did 147, I think 147. Isn't that the perfect snooker score? It's around that number of hay bales. So hay bales, are, they're good bales. Um, but the big bales, we've made about 100 of them when we didn't want. They're valued at about 40 quid a bale at the moment, anywhere from 30 to 40 quid a bale. These won't be. I did message a couple of mate that uh, we took, just took farming, the farming life partner and herself. And uh, he was saying they're gonna be flat as a pancake in a bit but the thing is if they are if you're stuck for feed you've got it here yeah we was talking to the funky farmer today as well you know he's feeding his winter feed like two months ago so we're in a good spot we're happy they're off and it is not a lot of times that you finish just before the sun goes down tell you what that doesn't happen in farming so can't be blessings today obviously it's a bit dark where he's been but it's a bit damp we're making bales at the end of october you know guys Hope you enjoyed today's video. We got mowing, rowing up, got bailing, wrapping, a little bit of moving at the end. What more can you ask for? Did a bit. Oh, TP merch. Get it. TomPem-farmlife.co.uk. The TP merch helps us develop spots. And the other thing, our grass is going back very fast. And if I do get all my projects done this year, which is a mammoth task, put some legs down the side there. <whistles> Roof. <laughs> Maybe not this year. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, have a great day. See you in a bit. It is Nathaniel's birthday today and he's come all the way, where have you come from? Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury. Yeah. All the way from Shrewsbury and he's given me a card but it's his birthday today, Friday the 28th. It's your birthday isn't it? Happy yes. birthday. Are you going to finish it? Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And subscribe. So big happy birthday to Nathaniel and we'll see you guys in the next one. Are you going to hit the camera? Yeah. Do Does the screen? Yeah!